With the average new car price approaching $50,000, it's getting harder to find a good deal on a fun daily driver. So here's a list of 40 sports cars that can still be purchased for the below average price tag of less than $40,000. Starting with the most expensive and finishing on the cheapest, you might want to stick around until the end to see a few options for just four figures. Toyota surprised the world when they came out with this race-inspired Corolla hatch from their Gazoo Racing Performance Division. It has an incredibly unique three-cylinder all-wheel drive powertrain, making an even 300 horsepower. Best of all, it comes standard with a six-speed manual and $36,000 price tag. If you're willing to pick up a second-hand car instead, you might enjoy the increased performance of a BMW F80 M3. It has a twin-turbo 3-liter inline-six engine, making 431 horsepower, good for a 0-60 time of 3.9 seconds. All that for as little as $33,100, which is a price I determined by taking the average of the five most affordable listings on cars.com. Hyundai's new N Motorsports lineup is starting to come out with some interesting sports cars. The latest of these to hit dealerships is the Elantra N. They describe it as a high-performance sedan, and with a 276-horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder, it really does live up to that title. The built-in launch control and limited slip differential are just icing on the cake. It's hard to go wrong with a classic, and the Dodge Challenger has a long history of affordable supercar slaying. The base SXT models may not feature the record-setting V8s of the Demon and Hellcat, but it's still a fantastic gateway option into the world of muscle. If you really need that all-American V8 to satisfy your cravings for speed, then a used C7 Corvette might be the better option. Prices have dropped since the mid-engine C8 came out, which means now is a great time to scoop up the last generation for a lower price. At 455 horsepower from a 6.2 liter LT1 V8, it's one of the most powerful cars on this list. The Germans make a tempting proposition with the Volkswagen Golf. It's one of the most popular hot hatches for a reason. By giving it a fuel-sipping turbo-4 engine and 241 horsepower, Volkswagen combined the practicality of a spacious four-door with the fun of a six-speed manual. Although since 2024 will be the final year you can get that on base models, the stick is being offered in a special send-off package called the GTI 380. The Acura Integra made its return for 2023, featuring a 200 horsepower Turbo 4. It's definitely a lot more mature than the old Integra, combining Honda's Civic SI motor with a CVT and luxury interior. The upscaled A-Spec trim does offer a manual, but all of them remain relatively true to the original with the front-wheel drive layout. This is the ultimate version of Lexus's RC platform, a two-door coupe offering 472 horsepower from a naturally aspirated V8. The design is aggressive. The interior is comfortable. It's like buying a BMW with a reliable motor. 2024 introduces the seventh generation pony car. The new and improved Ford Mustang comes with aggressive styling and more power. The base level EcoBoost models make 315 horsepower from a turbocharged four cylinder. At $30,900, the Camaro is a whole $20 cheaper than the Mustang. It also has 20 more horsepower for a total of 335. That comes from a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6. And unlike the EcoBoost, you can also get it with a manual. Taking rally racing to the road, the Subaru WRX is a four-door all-wheel drive sports car. It makes 271 horsepower from a Boxer 4 engine, giving it a unique sound, reduced vibrations, and low center of gravity. It's the perfect response to anyone who says SUVs are more practical. The last generation Civic Type R was controversial for its exterior styling, but it was the first sold in the United States, and that means there are now plenty of used cars to pick from. The FK8 generation was made from 2017 to 2021 and set the front-wheel drive production car record at the Nürburgring with a time of 7.43. Cadillac doesn't just make luxury cars for your retired neighbor. The ATS-V is a surprising enthusiast car with its turbocharged 464 horsepower V6 and six-speed manual transmission. The brand claims 0 to 60 in under four seconds and a class-leading top speed of 189 miles per hour. Things take a huge twist with the Vanderhall Venice. It's the first car so far under $30,000, if it's even fair to call it a car. 
This three-wheeled auto cycle is more of a weekend toy than a daily driver, but it has a 194 horsepower turbocharged motor and side-mounted chrome exhaust. This is probably the classiest way to cruise the beach. Jaguar used to offer the XE sedan with a supercharged V6, but in 2020 that was discontinued in favor of the turbocharged four-cylinder. The smaller engine still makes an impressive 296 horsepower in the R-Dynamic trim level, an option that also includes more aggressive, sporty bumpers and standard all-wheel drive. We're back with Honda, but this time it's the new Civic Si. Featuring the same engine as the Integra, the Civic is a little lighter at just under 3,000 pounds. 200 horsepower, 6-speed manual, and sporty styling make this a great enthusiast daily driver on a budget. The GR86 may catch some complaints for being about as fast as your average SUV, but the low performance doesn't detract from the fun experience. This model has a 2.4-liter Boxer 4 engine, making 228 horsepower. The interior features a standard digital gauge cluster and a 6-speed manual transmission. Although it's sadly no longer in production, used Chevy SS sedans still offer some of the craziest performance for the price. Based on the Australian Holden Commodore, the SS featured the same engine as the Corvette at the time, pumping out 415 horsepower from its LS3 V8. The plain styling and heavy curb weight hides the fact that this sleeper can do 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. As the performance version of Volkswagen's Jetta, the GLI is powered by a 228 horsepower turbo 4 and is given a 6-speed manual. It has plenty of interior space, an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system, and standard driver assistance technology. No affordable sports car list would be complete without the legendary Mazda Miata. Now in its fourth generation, the open-air performance two-seater stays true to its heritage, with a near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution and low 2,300-pound curb weight. With only 181 horsepower, the Miata won't be outrunning any supercars, but you'll probably still be having more fun than anyone else on the road. Made by ex-Aston Martin designer Henrik Fisker, the Karma is just as beautiful as it is unloved. The failed luxury car brand produced this gem for only a few years, but the dubious reliability has made them an absolute bargain on the used market. The plug-in hybrid features a solar cell roof, side-mounted exhaust, and 400 horsepower. It's the oldest car on this list, and breaking my rule of only including cars from the past decade. But you wouldn't be able to tell just from looking at this futuristic exterior. For $25,800, the Mini Cooper hardtop two-door comes standard with fun wheel drive. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it pairs nicely with the 134 horsepower engine, leather steering wheel, and digital gauge cluster. While Ford has sadly discontinued the Focus lineup in America, the ultimate hot hatch Focus RS is still for sale secondhand. With 350 horsepower, it was one of the most powerful four-cylinder cars ever made, and was only available with a manual transmission. Unlike other hot hatch competitors, it also had torque vectoring all-wheel drive. The second generation Audi S5 has been around since 2017, and older models are now depreciated to a fraction of what they cost new. It's a two-door coupe version of the S4, and a higher performance level than the A5. They come with a 3-liter turbocharged V6, making 349 horsepower. That's plenty of thrill for the price. Jaguar's sports car comes with an entry-level 296 horsepower turbo 4. It's attractive, fun to drive, and has a comfortable interior. Jaguar gave the F-Type a redesign in 2019, but the originals are a lot easier to find for as little as 23 grand. Spend a little more and you could get the V6 or supercharged V8. What it lacks in excitement, the Forte GT makes up for in affordability. The GT line comes with an appearance package that adds sporty red accents around the exterior to complement these 17-inch alloy wheels and LED daytime running lamps. The slightly more expensive GT also comes with an upgraded 201 horsepower turbo 4 to back up those looks. 
Built for the snobby businessman, now available to the common proletariat, the Maserati Gran Turismo has depreciated like nothing before it. The Italian brand, which worked closely with Ferrari at the time, gave the Gran Turismo a 454 horsepower, 4.7 liter V8, and an exterior truly worthy of its halo car status. It's not a car or a motorcycle, but a secret third thing. The Polaris slingshot is perfect for anyone who wants to experience a jet ski on the road. It has a waterproof interior, manual transmission, and 178 horsepower ProStar four-cylinder engine from General Motors. This small convertible is powered by a two-liter four-cylinder engine. With 241 horsepower, it won't make your neck snap, but the SLC 300 can still do 0 to 60 in a respectable 5.8 seconds. In typical Mercedes fashion, the interior is decked out with leather and a 7 inch touchscreen. The power retractable hardtop makes it easy to swap to an open air experience. The third generation Audi TT comes with modern styling designed to reflect the Audi R8. Under the hood is a turbocharged four cylinder that makes 228 horsepower in the base model and 288 in the upgraded TTS. It's a rather stylish way to make your commute more fun. Infiniti introduced the Q60 in 2013 as a replacement to the famed G Series lineup. The V37 generation has a front engine rear wheel drive layout and is offered with either a turbo 4 or a twin turbo v6. Although reviewers criticized the aging platform when it ended production in 2022, it's a lot more tempting at these massive discounts. Despite the fact that the Julia came out in 2015, it still catches my eye every time I see one. It has that gorgeous exotic design that Alpha is so well known for. Plus the 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder makes 280 horsepower in the base model. It's hard to think of a prettier car at this price point. And while we're in Italy, let's take a look at the Fiat 124 Spider. Based on the same platform as the ND Miata, but featuring a new exterior design, the 124 tried to class up the little roadster by adding additional sound deadening and higher quality interior materials. Sadly, all of this luxury made it slightly heavier than the Miata, which may explain why they're so cheap nowadays. This car may be most famous for having an asymmetrical three-door layout, but it's also a fun, affordable enthusiast car. It was made from 2012 to 2022, came with a 1.6 liter inline four, and was available with the addition of a turbocharger and manual transmission. The Subaru BRZ is nearly identical to the Toyota GR86 and now defunct Scion FRS. All three have the same Boxer 4 motor and 6-speed manual transmission. The pre-facelift models are practically a dime a dozen, and if you ask me, they look a lot cooler than the new ones anyway. I would have loved to include the 400Z at its original MSRP of $39,990, but since that price has now been raised to over $42,000, we'll have to settle for the last generation instead. The 370Z was powered by Nissan's infamous VQ V6 motor, and if you can get past the blaring trumpet exhaust note, it produces a respectable 332 horsepower. Okay, it's not technically a car, but where else are you going to get 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds for less than 12 grand new? With the R6 gone, and neither Honda nor Suzuki updating their 600 since the 17th century, the Ninja ZX6R is pretty much the last modern Japanese four-cylinder 600. And while it isn't a sports car, it's definitely worth considering if you want to embarrass supercars for cheap. Aside from a few styling updates, the Dodge Charger platform has remained basically the same from 2011 to 2023. That means there are now billions of entry-level V6 chargers flooding the used market, driving prices down to practically nothing. If you want four doors, 300 horsepower, and a dash of street cred, this is your pick. Finally dropping below 10 grand, the Fiat 500 Abarth is one of the cheapest sports cars in the world. It's a miniaturized hot hatch, making 160 horsepower from a turbo four. In typical Italian fashion, the Abarth is noisy, retro styled, and has questionable reliability. The final, most affordable sports car on our list is the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. Before Genesis was a luxury brand, the Korean automaker used the name for their entry-level sports coupe. Base models were given a 2-liter inline-four with 210 horsepower, while the top trim made over 300 from a 3.8-liter V6.
Which of these 40 sports cars for under 40k would you like the most? Let me know in the comments. Remember to subscribe and thanks for watching.